check it. Today I want to do a video on creating your own signature of what you're doing in the world. And the reason I'm doing this video is because it's super important in this crazy time we're living in with AI that's able to absorb tremendous amounts of information and synthesize it. And it's coming into question our role in the uh, modern world, right? If we've got these robots that are able to do all this stuff, uh, what is the role of human creativity and originality with these uh, new inventions? Okay, so let's get into it. I'm really excited to get into it with you, my favorite audience, baby. <laughs> all right, so let's start this whole thing with a question. My question is, is Shakespeare still relevant today? And I'm gonna answer that question. The answer to that question is yes, of course. Shakespeare is still relevant today. Even though he existed hundreds of years ago, he created content or he created a signature of content that was unique and interesting even to our common day. And um, I wanna take the example of Shakespeare being especially relevant today and uh, bring it to why it's important for each individual person to create a signature of who they are in the world. Because now that AI can do things much better, faster, quicker, in all those incredible ways, we've got to figure out what is our role now that we have these tools. And a lot of discussion is talking about how human beings are becoming irrelevant. But I'm gonna push back on that, okay? So that's, that's where I'm going with this. So let's move on to the next idea. Being that, what is a signature of content. Well, what I mean is that uh, Shakespeare has been writing for a long time. He's written his whole life and developed a particular style. A style that has been crystallized over his life. And essentially, he's written a lot of different stories. And people have read them and enjoyed them over the last uh, few centuries. But if you take all that written work and that style, you could say that that style is almost like a, uh, a sine wave, right? It's a mathematical equation of Shakespeare's thought process. And now with AI, you don't need a scholar to study that process. These uh, AIs are able to study uh, Shakespeare and uh, extract the essence of what he's all about. And if you think of Shakespeare as a sine wave, he's got 20 years of working on this content, um, this equation of how he thinks about people and how he tells stories. And now what the AI can do, who has studied uh, Shakespeare, is that uh, you can ask the AI to write in the style of Shakespeare something that's relevant today. Like you can talk about, um, you can ask AI to write a story about perhaps Elon Musk and say, tell me uh, an autobiography of Elon Musk in the style of Shakespeare. And the artificial intelligence will extrapolate from Shakespeare's uh, writing and tell you a compelling story in the style of Shakespeare about Elon Musk, which is like totally fascinating. And you might be asking, where am I going with this? I'm going to answer that question. Okay. So in the same way that Shakespeare was on the planet at one point in time and put out some interesting stuff, you right now are alive and you're doing something. Maybe it's not writing plays or it's not painting or it's not making music like Michael Jackson or whatever, but you're doing something. And what I'm trying to say here is, 
now that AI is there, you have the opportunity to create your own sine wave of content. What is it that you do? Are you a um, someone who cleans houses? Are you a politician? Are you a business person? Everyone has their art form. Everyone does something interesting. And what I'm trying to say is it's a really good time to start developing your style and putting out your interest and passion in an interesting way in the same way that Shakespeare did a hundred years ago and the reason I'm saying that is that Shakespeare to this day is still relevant so if you are able to develop your own style and articulate your passion to the world you can impart that to the world in, in an interesting way and now that we have AI, we have uh, another tool that can help us with it. And it's all about staying relevant. So what's the next idea following up on that? Okay, so the next idea has to do with staying relevant in times of AI. So what I was articulating before elaborates on the point that the AI can create all sorts of cool things but what the AI can't do is create a signature or a style that is you only you can do that and it takes time and effort and many years to develop that style but it is an important thing to develop because the more you develop it the more it makes you who you are and perhaps you're, you may not be as good of a writer as Shakespeare, but you're alive and you're you're alive in this time and you know the world is going to be interested in what you're doing in the future. So put something out. Talk about what you're interested in. Talk about your passion. you know, create a signature because that's what you can do. like a key in a lock and and uh, the AI can't. It can just synthesize, take a bunch of different ideas together, but it doesn't really have a signature. It's just kind of an extrapolator. So what's the next idea here? Okay, so if the point of creating a signature is to create a key, the question is, what does a key unlock? And in my point of view, what I believe it unlocks is uh, connections with other people that are currently living. I know I was talking about the future, but actually, why are you developing a signature and a style? You're developing that because now with the advent of the internet, you can reach millions of people online and people can uh, view what you're all about and will, want, will or will not want to connect with you. But you're looking for the people that are looking to connect with you. So that's the whole point. So why are you creating a digital signature? Is because it unlocks connections with other people. And that's another point I want to talk about in the next section. Okay, right. Connections with other people. I know it sounds like whatever, but actually, I don't know if you're aware, but the digital world has some amazing things. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Amazing videos, amazing video games, amazing websites, but somehow the world seems to suck. And why is the world sucking? The world is sucking is because it's much harder to connect with people because now instead of interacting with one on with each other on a one-on-one -on -one basis in the real world like we did a long time ago now we have this electronic digital intermediary that is intermediating the relationship so that's a subject for another uh, video but what I'm trying to say is that when you develop a signature and a style and a passion and you put it out there 
you unlock the ability for people to connect with you because now people know that you exist. If you didn't put anything out there, there would be no way for people to know that you exist. And I'm going, where do I get this idea? I'll explain it to you in the next segment. Okay. So this idea of connecting with other people comes actually from this book by Charles Bukowski called Women. And it's a great book. Uh, Charles Bukowski is incredibly funny. But the, the basic idea of his story is how his story is that basically he was a relatively unknown writer for a long, long time. And then um, he became more well known in, uh, in, in his later years because of his writing, because it's very like uh, authentic and funny. And in this book that he wrote called Women, it describes the process of him, you know, in the time of his fame, interacting with many different uh, attractive women in his life and it was a really great book but the lesson that's interesting is that he he had been putting stuff out uh, for a long time and then he eventually got discovered and which allowed him to make uh, more connections with women uh, or whatever but with friends or whatever but the point i'm trying to make here is that um it's the same thing these days but it's accelerated with the internet. So that's what I want to talk about. And let's move on to the next idea. All right. So this is where I talk about what a lot of people are looking for. I'm not saying everyone's looking for this because everyone's kind of an individual, but I think on a general basis, everyone is looking for their tribe. Um, it's hard to be independent and alone. You need someone or a group of people that you can be around and uh, feel comfortable and not feel antagonized. And so in a sense, you as a human being are looking for your tribe. You're looking to connect with other people. But the challenging part of life or real life is, is that um, the world is a great filter. That's a subject for another video, but and everyone wants, you know, to hang out with Dua Lipa and Crim Hensworth because that's all they see on their stupid YouTube, right? But the truth is, let's figure out a, a way to use this incredible exponential technology not to filter ourselves out of existence, but more to find ways to use these tools to connect with people that we can we can consider as part of our tribe right that's what it's all about we are all looking to meet our tribe and unfortunately many of us feel as though they don't belong and uh we have to eradicate that we have to wage a war on uh that i believe that every life is valuable and that we have to um, basically find ways for us to live well, uh, brothers and sisters in the world. Anyways, it's about finding your tribe. So why are you creating, how do you stay relevant? You create a digital signature. What it's all about, you're creating a signature so you can unlock relationships with people around the world and the idea is about finding your tribe, finding your friends, your family, your future partner, etc. There's a lot more different kinds of relationships, also business relationships. But uh, anyways, that's the idea. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, great. So we've gone over many interesting topics and I want to pull it all together for you in conclusion to speak about what is an important thing to think about in these modern times with AI coming of age? And how can we relate to ourselves, but also to the world in this very interesting time? And also underline the importance of developing a style and sort of a signature 
to promote our passions and interests to our family, friends, uh, also relationships, and in business, and uh, so as to be able to mo- to utilize the incredible technology that's in our disposition and connect with people, which is probably one of the most important things other than health. Anyways, thank you. And feel free to leave a comment if you agree or disagree. And I'm always interested in doing podcasts. So if you're interested in developing ideas about things, please feel free to uh, DM me via YouTube and we can arrange something. All right, until then, we've covered a lot of ground. Thank you and on to the next one.